Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about Windows 11 24H2, about its general availability, because of course I saw a lot of people in the comments that said they didn't receive the Windows 11 24H2 update. And well, the Windows 11 24H2 update was basically a slow rollout starting from September last year, and then moving on to people with different components on their system and so on. Well, in this video, we're talking about the fact that since the 2nd of May, 2025, Windows 11 24H2 should be be available for all users who meet the system requirements. In this video, we're going to discuss about this and how to get the Windows 11 24H2 update if you don't have it already. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. On the official learn.microsoft.com page, which we're also going to have linked in the article below, Microsoft is making an announcement. Current status as of May 2nd, 2025, Windows 11 24H2, also known as the Windows 11 20 24 update is broadly available. They have reached the last phase of the gradual rollout for the version 24H2 via the Windows Update on Settings. And of course, it tells you how to update. If you have an eligible Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, you can do that by checking for updates in the Settings app. And you have to note that certain devices won't get the 24H2 update if Microsoft detects an incompatibility. Also, devices running Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 versions 23H2, 22H2, and 21H2 that are not managed by IT departments will receive the update to Windows 11 24H2 automatically. So this means that if you have Windows 11 23H2 Pro, Windows 11 24H2 will be automatically installed on your system. I'm not sure that this will be well received by all users, but of course I think it's for the better because Windows 11 24H2 is a pretty reliable update so far, at least for me. On this page as well, you're going to be able to see the known issues of 24H2, which are in my opinion some very small issues. For example, certain issues related to AVD applications, remote desktop, or authentication issues on Kerberos, certain problems with wallpaper customization applications, and some other small issues in my opinion. Of course, you can find more in-depth information about all those issues in this article from learn.microsoft.com. So as I've said, all you need to do is to go into the settings app, go into the Windows Update section, and then click on check for updates, and you should receive the latest update, Windows 11 24H2, of course, on compatible devices. Even if you have 21H2, 22H2, or 23H2, you will be automatically updated to 24H2, so you cannot stop that. Of course, only if you delay updates, but inevitably you'll need to install or update to 24H2. Additionally, if you still don't receive the update, you still have the classic methods, for example, the Windows 11 Installation Assistant, which will automatically upgrade your PC to the latest version. You can create a Windows 11 Installation Media, so all these things are available on the official Microsoft website. We're going to have that in the article below, or you can also get the ISO if you want. Of course, you can also check out the free asked questions related to the upgrade to Windows 11, which I think is a page that you might want to check out. But of course, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. As a short recap, the things are pretty simple. Windows 11 24H2 has reached its end phase of the gradual rollout, so it now should be available for all users who have a compatible device. Also, users that have Windows 11 21H2, 22H2, or 23H2 and have not updated yet to 24H2 will be automatically updated. As I've said, this may be controversial for Microsoft, but I think it's for the better because Windows 11 24H2 is pretty reliable at the moment. Of course, you can also check out the article below for more information if you want. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.